We all already know that strange, massive, and mature galaxies discovered soon after the Big Bang have challenged everything we know about the universe and its beginning. However, something much stranger has just been found. Only a few billion years after the Big Bang, several unexpectedly huge objects have been discovered in new photos from the James Webb Telescope. And while some of these objects are believed to be massive galaxies by astronomers, other objects are far stranger than what is expected by our conventional cosmic model. Scientists have lately made some startling discoveries about the universe in response to this significant finding. In a fresh study report, another shocking discovery was made by scientists in a recent research paper. They contend that the Big Bang theory of the universe's origin is refuted by observations made with the James Webb Telescope. Rather, they put out a notion supported by the holographic structure of Haramein. According to this theory, our universe was formed by a black hole located inside a larger one. Imagine using a powerful telescope to travel through time and witness enormous structures that defy our understanding of the history of the cosmos, in addition to far-off stars. So what has recently been found by the James Webb Telescope? Vacuum energy, the energy that fills even the emptiest regions of space, is a key component in astronomy. However, there is a massive discrepancy of 122 orders of magnitude when we attempt to quantify this energy on a large scale, such as the size of the entire universe, and compare it to a smaller scale, such as the smallest particles. It's like comparing a grain of sand to Mount Everest. Now, some clever people have come up with an idea called the generalized holographic approach. Only, you know, we live in one universe right now, and these numbers are not matching. They should, they should match. We're coming from high redshift, coming from low redshift, and it's like we're, you know, digging a tunnel on opposite sides of a mountain, and we missed. <laughs> it could be that there's something missing in our model, our standard model that has the dark energy and dark matter we've been talking about, and that there's another physical something that we have not yet discovered, and this might point to that. To solve this puzzle, they suggest that if we take into account the tiny fluctuations that occur in the vacuum, which is basically tiny ripples and waves that occur even in empty space, we can bridge that gap of 122. But here's where it gets really interesting. When we crunch the numbers and include these vacuum fluctuations, something remarkable happens. It's like finding the missing piece of the puzzle. Suddenly, our universe starts to look a lot like a black hole. You know, those mysterious cosmic whirlpools where gravity is super intense and even light can't escape. So in simpler terms, this solution to the vacuum puzzle hints that our universe might actually behave like a gigantic black hole if we consider all the tiny fluctuations happening everywhere, even in the emptiest spaces. Surprisingly, current observations from the James Webb Space Telescope seem to confirm this theoretical prediction. The main challenging observation from Webb Telescope is the detection of at least six huge galaxies, up to 10 times bigger than our Milky Way, appearing at timeframes in the early universe, approximately half a billion years old after the Big Bang. Galaxy formation based on the Big Bang model require much larger timescales for these galaxies to form of many billion years. The possibility that these are not galaxies but quasars is trim because their spectral signature does not coincide. Therefore, unless these galaxies happen by some new extravagant condition that we are unaware of, this should not be there. And the fact that they are could be a clear indication that the Big Bang Theory no longer holds. Ivo Laba, from Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne, discovered these six galaxies from Webb Telescope near-inferred camera images that were released in July 2022. The objects detected showed extreme red shift coming from stretched light from the expansion of the universe, implying that such light is about 700 million years old. Therefore, these galaxies formed very efficiently and fast in the early universe, defying the common view that galaxies start from very small sizes and they merge to form bigger galaxies in much longer periods of time. Additionally, these galaxies have much more mass than the one available at that period, estimated by the cosmic microwave background data, and they have gone through numerous cycles of star formations. All three aspects contradict the current astronomical models. These galaxies host supermassive black holes that formed after the instant of creation, 
suggesting that maybe our universe was created by a gigantic black hole that collapsed into a larger cosmos in a nested configuration of black holes, one inside the other. In such a scenario, our universe evolved from a black hole in another universe. The idea that our universe might reside within a black hole dates back to Albert Einstein's groundbreaking theory of general relativity. This theory states that massive objects such as stars can distort space-time, creating what we experience as gravity. Black holes are cosmic regions where gravity is so intense that even light cannot escape it. Black holes are formed when massive stars explode due to their own gravity. Once they collapse, they form an infinitely dense point known as the singularity, which is surrounded by an event horizon, which is the boundary beyond which nothing can escape. Now, the interesting part comes when we consider the possibility that our entire universe could exist within the confines of a black hole. Theoretical physicists such as Nikodem Poplowski have proposed models in which our Big Bang, the event that created our universe, may have been the result of the collapse of a massive star in a parent universe. This would mean that our universe is inside a black hole in another, larger universe. When stuff like matter and energy get pulled into a black hole, it could potentially pop out on the other side in a completely different place, possibly in a different universe. This exit point is what scientists call a white hole. Picture it like this, a black hole, a white hole are like two ends of a tunnel. And this tunnel is called an Einstein-Rosen bridge, or more commonly, a wormhole. It's like a shortcut through space and time. Theoretical physicist Nikodem Poplowski from Indiana University suggested an intriguing idea. He proposed that when a massive star collapses and forms a black hole at the same time on the other end of the wormhole, a whole new universe could be born from the white hole. It's a concept that stretches our imagination and raises profound questions about the nature of our cosmos. In this theory, the singularity at the center of a black hole in the original universe could have given rise to the Big Bang, creating our observable universe. This idea provides an interesting perspective on the nature of the universe and the possible interconnectedness of multiple universes. However, it's vital to remember that this is a speculative theory, and scientists are still exploring it. But in a recent study, scientists have claimed that the newly discovered strange galaxies of the James Webb Telescope proved this speculative theory. The new Webb image hints that our universe may be a giant black hole. This concept challenges our fundamental beliefs about the cosmos and opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. Perhaps our universe is just one tiny part of something much larger, just as a black hole is merely a speck in the vastness of space. The Webb Telescope's findings are not just shaking up the scientific community, they're reshaping our entire perception of the universe. It's a reminder that there's still so much we don't know, waiting to be uncovered by the curious eyes of our powerful telescopes.